Because right now, we do have to fight for the kind of Canada we all want to see. In the wake of recent attacks of hate across the country and a list of recommendations released this week on how to combat it, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau sat in on a national summit addressing Islamophobia. To keep people safe, we're investing in infrastructure to protect everything from mosques to community centers. And to keep violence out of our communities, we're cracking down on online extremism and banning far-right hate groups. Ottawa's leader also called out tax and security agencies to end anti-Muslim sentiments. But little was said so far about the 60 policy changes the National Council of Canadian Muslims called for this week, which included everything from changes to the criminal code to a dedicated fund to support victims. Tackling online hate will decrease the speed by which people will get to hateful content and create rules in an ungoverned environment. But I don't know if it will stop a lone gunman from walking into a mosque. Trudeau mentioned the most recent incident in Ancaster last week, where police say two Muslim women wearing hijabs were almost hit by a vehicle in a parking lot. Earlier this week, I sat down with the Gurgi family in Hamilton, who were threatened because of their faith. We talked about why things like this happen and how to prevent it. This includes fighting misinformation with education. A hundred Muslim organizations also called on the Trudeau government to reform Canada's tax auditing practices. They say they unfairly target Muslim charities. Jason Guidola, CHCH News.